Hi, I'm Gabe from Bennington, and in this video, we're going to take a look at a Simrad Go 7 paired with a Yamaha outboard. Here we are with a Simrad Go 7 paired with a Yamaha outboard. Keep in mind that Go 7, Go 9, Go 12, the operation is the same. So here we are at the home page. This is what it looked like with our Bennington settings profile installed. So you have your icons here. Let's first go to our chart page. It's gonna show where you're at. Within this, you have options. So if you tap the top right corner, there's three lines. We can create a waypoint. There's also more options. We can change the view. For our chart options, we can turn on and off some additional layers if we so choose. You may prefer more detail or less detail. So if we go back, let's create a waypoint. So let's tap on our screen here. We're gonna press and hold a location where we wanna go. It pops up, we select new waypoint, and then we hit save. And there it is, saved on our screen, point two. Now let's go back to the home page by tapping in the top left corner. Your echo is like your basic fish finder. Shows depth. You can go in here and change options. So if you tap on the top right corner again, we can adjust the frequency, the gain, the color. Uh, there's more advanced options as well. But if we go back to more options, there's things like the depth line, uh, different fish symbols that you may want to turn on or off, uh, fish ID beeps. So your basic fish finder settings are all here uh, in, under your echo page also keep in mind we have a sidebar which has typically the data that most people would like to see however you may want to change this so in order to, if you want to do that you just tap on the sidebar once you press and hold on the one that you want to change and then it pops up and you can choose any of the available data to put in that location instead we're going to go back to our home page by tapping in the top left. Side scan is an option that would require an upgraded transducer available from Simrad. However, with the transducer we install, you get the HDI transducer, which does your echo and your down scan. Down scan, again, more for fishing, but it's a more clear view of the bottom uh, to help locate fish. And let's go to our nav page. So a different view, but if you're traveling, you may like to zoom in and it'll show you as you're moving through the water. Again, any of the, the data in these four corners can be customized. So we got fuel showing, volts, depth, and speed. You just tap and hold on one of them and you can replace the data, just like on the sidebar. So if we go back to our homepage again, now we get to our Yamaha screen. We have a NEMA gateway connected, feeding engine data into our Simrad from the Yamaha. So here we see we have the seven is our RPMs we have running. We have trim on the right side. So as you trim the motor up and down, these will change. And then we have additional data in the sidebar as mentioned before. Again, if you wanna get into your options, you can press the top three lines in the top right corner to adjust these things. Let's go back to our home page by tapping in the top left corner. You also see we have more available features on the left side. And if you press again, that will get it into the settings page where you can go in even deeper and dig into the settings if there's something that you want to personalize or change. I hope you like this video. For more tips, go to BenningtonMarine.com.